for me, it's about getting to know the players and the staff, and then for me to implement my um, my ambitions on on the players, particularly what I expect from them and uh, what I expect from the staff who work with the players. And uh, that takes a period of time to everybody to adjust for that. And, and hopefully it will work like it's worked at many other clubs and, uh, and pull the team out of the position it's in and get them up the league as quickly as we possibly can. You've been in situations before where you've had to lift players' confidence. How can you go about doing that as a manager? I think, I think basically on a day-to-day -day basis is showing the process of how we get, how we get over the trouble that we're in. Um, we'll spend a fair amount of time analysing the player individually, uh, talking to the player individually, and then looking at, at how he's performed this season. And then individually and, and as a unit saying, look, this is what I want us to try and achieve by the end of the week. Uh, what I want you to try and just achieve in the game so we can see a steady th process of all areas of the game increasing slightly, not, not asking for massive increases because that's going to be impossible at this moment in time, but to see a gradual increase and uprise in all areas of their game uh, individually, small little um, improvements day in, week in, week out, and hopefully that starts bringing more confidence, which starts bringing more results. More results grows confidence. And trying to get a run of games together where we're winning and drawing more than we're losing. And I think that's the most important thing at the moment. Building the confidence comes by us as, as a, a backroom staff, by making um, the life uh, easier for the players and the feeling at the moment to try and relax them and let them express themselves in the right way. And uh, so that would be the environment on a day-to-day -day basis to lift the mood and to get the players a little bit mentally more stable and, and, and a little stronger mentally to go out and deliver their best performance. So they've got to really be uh, capable of, uh, of turning it round that way because the mind controls everything. It controls all the talent they've got, all the physical attributes that they've got, all the decision-making processes they've got. And so if we get the mind right, we'll get, we'll get the technical side right and we'll get the physical side right. You said when you left Crystal Palace that you wanted to take a bit of time out. You wanted to, to leave the rigours of, of club football behind for a while. I didn't just want to take a bit of time out. I was convinced that would be enough now. Um, but, but, you know, it's Everton, I suppose. It's the traction, you know, the... The, the the club itself, the people who I've known at the club, the people who, you know, I said before, who've worked at the club and told me what a great club it is, and I've always thought it was that, and and, and hopefully I can uh, put this uh, difficult spell behind us as quickly as possible and start looking upwards. It's got ambition. You know, that's the one big key thing for me. It has ambition, and they and the, and the ambition going forward is is. Uh, very important for any any player and any manager or any coach or anybody that works for the football, any owner or director. Um, ambition is is what you need to have, and uh, hopefully uh, we can deliver to the fans, which is their ambition to see this club get as high up that league and challenge. You know, I think that um, whatever's happened before, we've got to all rally round together. Our relationship, our, uh, our will to, to do it all together would be my way forward. Like, you know, we're all in it together and we've got to give the players every possibility to play to their best and really give them no excuses for playing the best and, and getting them right back up to the top level of their game. And, and the quicker we can do that, the, the better the results we'll get. And just finally then, Sam, if you had a, a message for the Everton fans who will be watching this, what would you say to them? Well, I'd say that uh, this, I think that um, we will be working tirelessly in the beginning for, for the improvement of the players who are fit and, and tirelessly to get the players who are injured fit and up and running as quickly as possible and to get players enjoying the football again and trying to entertain the fans, particularly at Goodison Park. And what I mean by doing that is, yes, commitment, so they don't feel like the players are not giving their all, uh, knowing that the players are giving their all, 
Sometimes the result might not go for them, but at least they'll have seen that. But at the end of the day, let's see us start winning again.